Hello and welcome back YouTubers. I am Proto Mario and today we are reviewing the Fancy Pants Adventures for Xbox Live Arcade, the PlayStation Network, as well as a browser game. This game is available on PC and Mac as a browser version of it. So let's go ahead and take a look-see at this game. Uh, on first look, you can kind of tell that it's going to just be an arcade release, much like Alien Hominoid was and uh, Castle Crashers, as they were so popular on the internet that they crossed over and got their own platform releases on consoles. Um, the Fancy Pants Adventures is a series of free side-scrolling flash games created by Brad Bourne. Um, the developer over-the-top games um, for the console version and armor games for flash games as well as EA 2D for console. Um, the designer which I just mentioned is Brad Bourne. So two worlds have been released so far. World 1 on 14 March 2006 and World 2 to 9 January 2008 and uh, since then, we have subsequently um, many more, and they've been released on Xbox Live PSN by EA 2D April 19th and 20th, respectively, in 2011. So, let's take a look at this game. Fancy Pants Adventures features Fancy Pants Man, the playable character protagonist of the series. He is a two-dimensional stick figure uh, with spiky, choppy hair and wearing a pair of triangular shaped pants. The original pants color is orange, and though you can get different items to dress him up and different weapons, um, you know, the main theme stays true. He's a stick figure with pants on. Uh, Fancy Pants home is Squiggleville, uh, which kind of is cool because it goes with the whole stick figure theme in a small country run by the mayor. So as you can see, Fancy Pants is mainly a uh, 2D side-scroller platformer and it requires you to have some ingenuity skills and uh, you have to really know how to platform to play this game. If you're not good at platforming, you probably won't enjoy this game and I would strongly suggest you stay away from it. Uh, this game is very akin to uh, Mario Brothers and Sonic the Hedgehog as you mainly jump on enemies to kill them at times as well as you're doing these loops. Um, one of the things that I found really annoying about these loops is that when you're using your controller um, you have to actually hold a certain direction uh, which is kind of the opposite of the direction that you're at, your dude is actually going on the screen. So I found it to be a bit confusing at first, as you can see, uh, my failings. And you can lull at me a lot, and that's fine. Uh, but that's the only problem I found with the controls. The controls are quite loose, and uh, they really allow you to do what you need to do in the game. But at the same time, I think they could have been a little bit tighter and more responsive. That's just my own personal opinion. Um... So, delving into this review itself, uh, this game has a lot of features and a lot of extra things that you can do, uh, as many arcade games do have. This is not one game that you'll be picking up and playing through just one time and then forgetting about it. This game is uniquely created and is quite a hit, uh, as I'm told across the internet. I did not have the pleasure of playing the browser version for free when it was uh, gaining popularity. Uh, I've only played the uh, uh, Xbox version, uh, which I'm also told is practically the same, but that's just one of the uh, little differences that there are. Um, there's a browser version and an Xbox version, as well as a PSN version. So, much like Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario, you'll be collecting these weird squiggly things instead of rings or coins. Uh, I'm not really sure what these squiggly things are exactly for, uh, but at the end of the level, you're rated on how many you get. So if you get more, uh, you get more prizes unlocked and things of that nature. 
your whole goal is to of course collect 100% of them and that gives more in-depth aspect um, to this game rather than just running through and playing it uh, like most arcade titles. Uh, you'll probably want to come back and collect all these little squiggly things uh, as much as you possibly can. The Fancy Pants Adventures is a pretty fun platforming game and at times can be quite annoying with the uh, physics involved, but for the most part I found it quite enjoyable to play through. Uh, Fancy Pants Adventures rewards you with several uh, achievements that are fun to get and not so strenuous as some other games and arcade releases have their uh, achievements uh, to be very annoying to get. Uh, the Fancy Pants Adventures is one of the rare unique games uh, that doesn't need graphics to show off what it can do. Uh, this game focuses centrally on gameplay rather than a great storyline or a massive budget for the most graphically intense game you could imagine. Uh, the storyline is very silly. Uh, in the beginning, pirates seem to have stolen the mayor's hot tub or the king's um, not hot tub, but tub, and now they are doing something with it. Huh? It's, just, it's just one of those stories that that is like, really? How oh, very obscure. So, yeah, you can take that for what it's worth. Um, within this game, you'll also find certain challenges on certain parts that allow you to unlock different costumes and different items for Mr. Fancy Pants to wear. Um, you do not need to complete these challenges, but much like other platformers and games of this nature, such as Bionic Commando, there will be challenge rooms where you have to do a certain something, do a certain tricks within a certain amount of time, and uh, complete these tricks and chain together things, such like um, games that allow for drifting, such as like you know racing games like Grid, where you have to drift a certain amount and get a certain score doing these tricks uh, to the objective which is to get a high score. Um, so I'll go ahead and delve into the core review of this game. Uh, the Fancy Pants Adventure, uh, graphically speaking, is definitely among one of the lowest graphically looking uh, games in the world. This game is hand-drawn and uh, look at it. It's just not anything you want to look at. It's not graphically good. It's very simple. Uh, to say the least, uh, but it does what it does well. The graphics match its styling and its stick figure-esque uh, nature. And I think that's just wonderful that you don't have to rely on great graphics to have a good game. The graphics match what it's supposed to do and its theme, so I give the graphics an A+, because the uh, um, original artist, the developer, um, whoever drew for this game uh, definitely knew what they were doing properly and you can see um, it's not it's not exactly poorly made and poorly constructed but it's constructed this way on purpose and that's nice I like that so uh, under graphics I give it an A plus um, under sound the music is kind of generic -y. Um, it fits the mood definitely uh, but it's probably not the best and the sound effects definitely aren't the best either but they definitely aren't the worst either so I give under sound a B solid B because they definitely didn't throw in some crappy stock music but they could have had better um, under uh, controls like I said it was loose and allows you to do what you need to do it's very responsive at the times but because of some of the looseness, you can be flying all over the place and not doing exactly what you want to do. This can be quite annoying at times and really get on your nerves. But overall, I find the controls to be working out quite well. And uh, personally, I give the controls an A-. Under gameplay and overall presentation, I would say this game... Um, includes multiple playthroughs and warrants them as well. Um, this would mean you would want to go back through each individual level and gain everything that you possibly can from um, this game, unlocking all the costumes and all the potential items that you could get as well. 
uh, which is very nice to do and gives you something to do once you've actually purchased the game and beaten it because once you've beaten it there's nothing more to do uh, but if you can go back and challenge these things and go through these trials and unlock these costumes it gives you something more to do than to just sit here and have another arcade game downloaded and stuck on your console with nothing to do. So I definitely give this game uh, game's gameplay an A plus to say the least. For its replay value, what's included, and the uh, different game modes and challenges and costumes you can unlock, it definitely gets an A plus in my book. Overall, I would give this game an A, a solid A. Um, if you don't like platformers, don't get this game. If you don't think this game would be fun and you don't generally like internet games, then don't get this game. But if you like to broaden your horizons and if you'd like to try something very fun, um, if you'd like to have a cool game that kind of reminds you of Sonic and Mario Brothers, give this game a try because it has kooky and fun and silly uh, and happy games and things of that nature. It's very, uh, it's a very silly and fun paced game. I really like it. It includes boss battles as you can see here and some of them are significantly more difficult than Mr. Blackbeard here who happens to have a rainbow beard and is not Blackbeard. While the bosses may not be that challenging, I assure you get, they do get uh, a bit more harder as you go along. And that's what's important about this game. You don't want it to be too easy, and you don't want it to be too hard. So guys, my final thoughts on Fancy Pants, uh, the Fancy Pants Adventures, is this is an game. If you really are into platformers, then you'll probably really, really like this game. Uh, if you're not, then you probably won't. Overall, I think the Fancy Pants Adventure is an excellent release on the Xbox Live Arcade and the PSN Network, and if you happen to not have either system and only a computer, go ahead and Google it and check it out. I'm sure you would enjoy playing it in your browser for free as well. I'm Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. Hopefully you'll enjoy the end sequence of this week. And hey guys, if you haven't subscribed and thumbs up yet, uh, what are you waiting for? I submit several videos daily, and reviews, gameplay, and all of them are in HD, courtesy of my HD. So guys, I'm Proto Mario, I'm signing out.